about you are the person like me. When people give you something to choose, I'm so greedy. I want everything. When they give me one item, I take it all. If they give me two, I take two. When they give me no matter how many of it, I just take everything. And could you tell me that how many way that I can choose? If you compute by using calculators, eventually you will all have the same answer which is one. It means that if people provide you with that many items and you take it all, that's the only way. Because you take it all right, there's nothing to choose. I don't like to choose. So they say that when we take everything from the set, there's only one way to choose, which is you grab it all. To generalize this one, we can say that with n, c, n, no matter what is the number, as long as they are the same number, it's going to be just one way to choose. How about now, you are so gentle and polite. No matter how many items that people provide to you, you will only say that I'm only taking one. It's okay. I'm taking only one. So this is what we mean. See, when people provide you with one item, you pick one. When people provide you with two, you pick one. Three, you pick one. Four, you pick one. If you compute by using calculators, you have this number of ways. So why is it like this? It's because it means that I give you two items to choose. Let's say one is Coca-Cola and one is Pepsi. So if you have how many ways to choose, if you want to choose only one, you can either choose Cola or Pepsi. Those are the two ways. How about now I add one more selections. This is the seven up. So how many ways that I can choose? Now I can either choose Cola, Pepsi, or seven up. There are three ways. So it means that as long as you are picking only one thing, there are going to be n number of ways, same as the items provided in the set. So as a conclusion, when there are n items for us to choose, and we are so kind, we only take one thing, then there are only n ways to do so. So nc1 is always going to be same as end. Next, how about you are the person that always pretend to be so kind. Maybe you are kind, right? When people ask you to choose, no lah, I don't want anything. It's fine. It's fine. You just keep it for yourself, okay? I don't want anything. For, for this case, it's going to be all of the answer to be one. But why is it like this? It's because when there are n number of things provided for you to choose, but you take nothing, you take nothing from the set, then there is only one way to not select anything and walk away like a boss. So it means that if you don't choose anything, then there is only one way to not select anything. So let's have a recap. When these are situations, when we take everything that is provided, it's going to have only one way. We take it all. Or when there's a situation that we take nothing, it's also same thing. We take nothing, we walk away like a boss. And when the situation is when we're only so gentle and polite, we take only one thing, then this is the situation where we have n number of ways to choose. Let's say we are going to form a team of five members from five boys and three girls. Find number of ways the team can be formed if there's no conditions. If there's no conditions, means that out of the eight people, I'm going to choose five of them to be our members. So add choose five. So how do we do? We have add factorial way of arrangement and divided by how many slots. We have five slots that they can rearrange themselves. And we have three items that is unused. So in the end, I will have something like this. And all together we have 56 different arrangement. Next, how about they say the team must consist of three boys and two girls. So it means that out of the five boys, I can only choose three boys. And out of the three girls, I'm going to choose two girls. So three, choose two. But this thing is a continuous thing, right? After picking the boys, I'm going to pick the girls. When we have event that is in a sequence, Remember, we use multiplication rules. So we can just do 5C3 times 3C2. And in the end, if you use calculator, you have the answer of 30 ways. It means that we have 30 different arrangement. So it means that 5 choose 3 for the boys and 3 choose 2 for the girls. 
So 5C3, of course, we know you can use the formula. We have 10 number of ways. Meanwhile, for the girls, we use 3 choose 2. And same thing, we have 3 way to choose. But don't forget, because this is in a sequence, so we're going to use multiplication rule. We times it together. In the end, we have 30 different arrangement. Next, how about now, they say the team must have not more than one girl. So not more than one girl means that we have five members, one, two, three, four, five. The maximum is only one girl. So they say I have one girl, then we have four boys. Any other situation? Yes, we also can have no girls at all. Means all of them are boys. So for the first situations, four boys, one girl. And the, sec the second situation is five boys, no girl. So we're going to choose the boys first. So how do we choose? Out of five boys, we choose four of them. Eventually I can use in a vertical form, say five boy, we choose four. And if you use calculator 5C4, you get five. After I choosing the boys, I will choose the girl, right? So how many girls I choose? I choose one girl. So from the three girls, I choose one, I use 3C1. So it's three ways. But since this is in a sequence, we use multiplications. So five times three is 15. Now we go for the second situations, where the five boy and zero girls. So we're going to choose the boy first. Out of the five boys, I choose all of the boys. Remember, if I take everything, I will only have one way to do so. For the girls, we're going to say that out of the three girls, I choose no girl at all. So remember, if you choose nothing, you only have one way to not select anything. So left you only one way. So this one, can see that we have two situations. These two situations, only one would happen, right? So if this is the case, we are going to use plus together. So it means that now, we have 15 plus 1 combination. It means that if not in a sequence, they are different event. It means that if this happened, this is not going to be happen here. If this is happened here, this is not going to happen. Because why? Because if the team is four boys and one girl, definitely the five boys group is not going to be happened. Or if you already choose the five boys, then the four boys, one girl team is not going to be happened. So in this case, we use addition rules. Okay? Next, there are four gamers and three non-gamers. Find number of ways where a team of five can be formed. So a team of five, so we have five persons to be chosen. And they tell us that the gamers must be more than the non-gamers. So we have five people. If the gamers must be the majority, so means that the gamer must be at least three of them. So must have three gamers, one, two, three. Then we can free up with the non-gamers. So we check again, is it the gamer is more than the non-gamers? Yes, three gamers two non-gamers. And now, we can have other situation where we say that now we're going to take four gamers and only one non-gamers, like this. Then we say that, how about five gamers all together? But it's not possible because why? Because there are only four gamers available. So this is already the maximum. And this is the only two situations where the gamer is more than the non-gamers. So three gamers, how to choose? Out of the four gamers, I choose three of them. And then, after I choosing the gamers, I choose the non-gamers. So same things, three non-gamers, I choose two. So it's three, C, two. Why we use times? Because this is a sequence. After choosing the gamers, I'm going to choose the non-gamers. So all together, we have 12 different combinations. How about for this case? So for the four gamers, how do I choose? Out of the four, I choose four. When I choose everything, there's only one way, okay? Then we times, for the non-gamer, we have three non-gamers and I only choose one. So it's going to be three choose one. So if I use the formula, or you can use compute by using calculator, I will only have three. So how many total ways? Since these two situations, only one would happen. So I will use addition rules, so I can say 12 plus three which is 15 different ways to do. Next, there are 10 questions with four mathematics questions and six science questions, but you are only required to answer eight questions. 
Find number of way if you are required to answer at least four science questions. If they say at least, it means that you must starting with four or five or six or seven, but they are only maximum of six science questions. So it can be four science, five science or six signs, right? So if there are four signs, then the left over the question must be mathematics. If there are five science questions that I choose, then it must be only three mathematics. If I choose six signs, means all of them, then I must be left with only two mathematic questions. So for four signs, how do I choose? Out from the six questions, I choose four. Six choose four. But this is continuous because why? I need to answer eight questions. So how do I choose the four mathematics? So from the four mathematics, I choose four of them. So four C four. So if you use calculator, I have 15 different ways. Next, we are choosing five signs. So again, six questions, we choose five. And then for the four mathematics, I only choose three. So I will have 24 different ways. How about here? Now, six questions, I choose six. And for mathematics, out from the four, I choose two. And in the end, I have six different arrangement. So what is the total arrangement? Since these three are not continuous, they are different event. It means that if this happened, this is not going to be happen. So we are using addition rules. So if you plus together, all together we have 45 number of ways. Next, we need to send 12 jokers to the school. Find number of ways to provide the transport for these 12 jokers. So it means that now, we're going to prepare the transportation to send off these jokers. So let's say we have three cars to be used. And they tell us that one car can only take four jokers. So how do I arrange? So it means that now, out of the 12 jokers, I choose four jokers to be seated at the first car first. Then after that, we have how many joker left? Uh, we have eight joker left. So out from the eight joker, I choose four to be seated in the second car. So now we left only four jokers. So now for the third car, I will only have four joker left and I choose four of them to be seated at the third car. So all together, we just need to times them together because why? This is the continuous arrangement. So 12C4 times 8C4 times 4C4. In the end, we have 34,650 ways. Next, how about instead of cars, we are using vans. We have two vans and one of the van can take up six joker at a time. So how do I fill up the first car? So I can say, out of the 12 joker, I choose six of them to be placed in the first car first. Then after that, the remaining, how many jokers? We have six remaining jokers, and I choose the six remaining jokers to be seated into the second wand. So all together, I have 12 C6 times six C6, because it's a continuous event. And in the end, I have 924 ways. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.